Hello, my astrology family. This is Lada from astrolada.com with your November 2020 video horoscopes. And November is epic. I have been looking forward to it from 2019 because that's when things kind of start to become easier for a month. Because <laughs> after that, we're on another totally new timeline, <laughs> collectively as humanity as well, personally as well. But we're going to be reaping now rewards for well done work for all the suffering we've been gone through <laughs> and things are getting so much easier in november mars and mercury are getting are becoming direct so a lot of problems will get resolved a lot of results for hard work that you've done before you see it and we have at the end of the month a lunar eclipse which is positive still because it's a lunar eclipse that gives you something so i'm so excited and before that just Another thing I'm very excited about is that my 2021 video horoscopes are out. You can order them already. They're 30% uh, off currently, and they'll go up in, in with uh, for the full price in two weeks. Early birds will get it, and last year we sold 10,000 or something with no refunds. So this is the best work I've ever done. Each sign is two hours long. Check them out. I've poured my heart out. 2021, just to tell, is going to be so much better. And uh, it might not be, you know, so smooth again and predictable, but it's actually going to be so much lighter and easier to breathe through with a lot of new opportunities. Anyway, let's start with November videos. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, November 2020. Great news. We have two planets starting to move direct, which means that Mars and Mercury, which means that actually uh, a few areas of our life that was stagnating will start moving forward. And for you, Mars and Mercury start moving direct. Mercury is at the start of the month. Mars is in the middle, but they start doing it in your financial houses. The eighth, first Mercury, and then Mars in the second one is my finances. The eighth is other people's finances and resources. So if you had some delays and complications connected to such matters, to money, to receiving money from another or to procuring money through, uh, through clients or a stimulus check might have been delayed for you or there were complications with paying your bills. So there were just, you, these all problems will start being solved from November. Or maybe your partner might have been having delays or problem financially. So this will again start moving forward. So maybe your clients couldn't pay you, you know. Uh, or maybe you had to reprogram and reorganize your whole finances because you decided to save for something with your partner or a loan, you know, or with your, you know, because it's both houses, your money, your partner's money. If you don't have a partner, it's your client's money or the money that comes from the government or taxes, insurances. So all those problems will be solved. Also, if you are having delays with inheritances, with insurances, with taxes. So if, you're, if they were getting, if you had to rework certain things there to find more clever ways to do them, when Mercury starts moving direct in your eighth house, you're going to start, I can breathe now, it's coming together. Okay, I saved quite a few money on the taxes. You know, maybe I fixed something here and there, or maybe I had to fix some problems that I've omitted before. You know, uh, or some of you, uh, Mars retrograde and Mercury retrograde meant that you had to, in your financial houses, that you had to make changes how you spend, what you spend on. You have to reprogram your mind as well how you approach value worth what is needed and many of you might have even reevaluated that you don't need so many possessions or that you don't need certain things and you threw them out or you certain sources of income even you just they got discontinued from your life or you discontinued them and uh and and now when they start moving directly you're going to start seeing the positive result of those changes that you've made, of those mindset or actual uh, changes. Uh, maybe you've made a plan to 
you know, to uh, save, or maybe you made the plan to spend differently, to buy differently, and you're gonna settle into that new rhythm and feel so much better with that new plan. Uh, and uh, a lot of you maybe also might have had clashes with others about what is mine, what is yours? How much do you contribute emotionally, psychologically, materially? How much I contribute emotionally, psychologically, materially to a business partnership or personal partnerships? Um, so the stress has also disappeared from November gradually, especially after the middle of November. Also, a lot of you were rewiring their self-worth during Mars retrograde in their second house. They were questioning, they were saying, maybe I'm worthy of more. Maybe, and you have to eliminate because of that certain um, things that were stopping you for, from feeling more worthy. You might have thrown out your old clothes from 10 years ago and decided to buy, finally buy clothes that depict more the new you you are or the new self-worth you have, you know. Mars starts moving direct and you go boldly into that direction. But the, in two words, material, financial complications, they start disappearing at you. If you've worked very hard on some project to secure more financial security and stability, you're going to see the results now. Maybe your partner's finances also will get better or maybe your finances because Mars is in your second house. You'll start seeing that you... Uh, Whatever you did there materially, now you receive more somehow. You maybe have to ex extra efforts. This is Mars, Mars retrograde to to make sure to procure to procure in the future more financial stability. And you're gonna start seeing it now from the middle of November. Venus is also in Libra till the 21st of November. Uh, so it means that this eighth house, again, you can receive support from someone, ask for help. They'll give you their resources. They'll help you, whether you have to borrow something or even borrow money or the advice of someone, the eighth house is the resources of others. They'll come way more easily to you this November, especially till the 21st. And if you have to, uh, also sexual intimacy comes more easily when Venus transits the eighth house. You have able to feel more open up emotionally to others even to share a few secrets and also venus in the eighth house can indicate secret thirst or secret relationships so maybe kind of like secret attention from someone that makes you feel good uh, but it's kind of has sexual connotations there plus eighth house is secret money and hidden money as well venus is money so some of you can take a bit more spare a bit more because of some secret resources or something like that you know hide some money <laughs> whatever from taxes or or somehow secure it you know uh oh you can receive a present from another eight houses that as well you know you can have a secret admirer who is married i'm kidding <laughs> uh eight houses as well uh, when Venus transits there in its own sign, you can feel till the 21st more in touch with your sexual power, more in touch with your shamanic uh, power of a goddess type of energy, tantric power, you know. Um, well, you can use it to manipulate or you can use it to do something good. Also, you can have deep psychological insights regarding relationships. This is Venus, it counts as deep psychological insights. And Till the 21st, fantastic time to learn and study something occult. You might really enjoy delving into astrology, into psychology, into tarot, reading. You might really enjoy reading also conspiracy topics <laughs> and such things. Actually, while Mercury was retrograde in your eighth house, you might have gotten into trouble with others because of your opinions on secrets and what you, that the more taboo and secretive and maybe bringing out some secrets from the past that you wanted to discuss when Mercury was retrograde, but when it turns, and it might have created some crisis there. But Venus in Libra now, in November, sorts this all out. Uh, you can really kind of, now it's more about enjoying it. Uh, secrets and any hurts about secretive things that might have happened and broken trust during Mercury retrograde in the eighth house gets healed. Um, and you move on. And I say that what will help you really feel and is feel 
joyful because Venus is joy is delving into such eighth house matters, life after death, study the occult, astrology, some research, some exploration as well, deep research. Um, so that will be, and, and some intimacy, especially more kind of private and uh, uh, with sharing and opening up to another. These were all things that can happen. Uh, and Mercury then continues to be direct in your ninth house from the 10th of November, where it was retrograde most of the time. So if there were some complications with travels, with arranging matter, uh, matters concerning in documents, foreign residence, or uh, moving and relocating somewhere, these start moving forward, they get resolved. If there were some delays for some trips, now they can happen, you can move forward. Maybe the Mercury retrograde period, you have to prepare everything. And now you can go ahead with the trip, relocation uh if there are some delays connected to some teaching project or some educational project or uh, some complications or needing to edit to fix some things there now when mercury turns direct in your ninth house you know november it goes forward you move ahead with those things if there were some complications and delays and things that needed to be fixed with uh import exports as well these get resolved uh, some courses, webinars, seminars. This is the ninth house as well, higher knowledge. Maybe you are revising some such things or, um, or sometimes it's when someone even decides to change the direction of their higher knowledge or their studies and they rethink maybe I should uh, pre-qualify about something. Well, Mercury is retrograde, you start changing your mind, and when it starts moving direct, you go in that direction that you've chosen. Ah, if there were some complications in relationships with father figures and mentors and teachers, or some delays there, maybe I, I you know, maybe you plan to go to a seminar for meditation, or maybe a seminar for, uh, you know, something <laughs> to study something. Well, now Mercury turns direct, it can happen. And no more delays. Okay, and then another big thing is that Mars, sorry, Jupiter and Pluto have their last conjunction in your 11th house. It happened twice already this year. And it's not going to happen again for, for 13 years and it's not going to be in your 11th house anymore. So this is the last opportunity so what does it mean? 11th house is the house of gains. Well, Jupiter and Pluto is considered the millionaire conjunction. Well, some of you might have, I'm not saying you're becoming millionaires, but you have a bigger chance than others that during this year, during those three Jupiter-Pluto conjunctions, you might have had some long-term goal or idea to develop for the future, which can turn over the next 12 years into a long-term uh, before the next Pluto Saturn conjunction. Now is you are seeding the seeds this year, 2020. And that's the last conjunction. So last chance for that. But some long-term goal and an idea, it might be business for profit or social. It doesn't matter that it might be giving results to you financially for the next 20, 13 years till the next Jupiter Pluto conjunction. Uh, and in, with this third one, you can even start seeing the results of that. And uh, if you invested efforts in broadening your network of connections, of social influence, you're going to start seeing the results now. You know, some of you might have been growing their Facebook channel, their following, uh, their clients, and that becomes a source of wealth for them. Some of you might have been honing your connect connection skills and uh, uh, social media skills as well. So Pluto Jupiter conjunction, they become source of wealth for you. Um, the eleven house is just some social connections that you've created, some even collaborations type of thing, or some uh, acquaintances that you've connected through in this year, and that you still have one more chance in November to connect some acquaintances, some social network connections that uh, benefactors of some sort that 
they can become a source of wealth and growth for you for many years ahead. Um, for example, they might introduce you to someone down the line, help you fulfill a goal, bring in more audience for you or whatever. The 11 house is also if you're on salary, it's your salary. So you might have an opportunity here to increase your wealth, to increase your wealth through salary, through income. If it's your business as well, it's uh, to increase your income again through your business. You know, this month can give a boom or growth there somehow. Um, also your social network. A lot of you just definitely might have removed some people from your life <laughs> in the past, you know, uh, year or couple of years, but with Jupiter Pluto, it wants just to leave the most quality people, the ones that, uh, can make you feel internally strong and can uh, help you reveal your deep hidden treasures, deep hidden um, resources. This is Pluto. So such will stay and some of them will have very pivotal roles to play in your life. Okay, some of you might feel empowered through some friendships. Some of you might feel very empowered in November by the social economic process that they've made in 2020. Some of you might see the results financially as well, materially from such things. Uh, some of you might even find powerful friends, you know. Okay, so, uh, or might be participate in social movements or social organizations of sort that become very decisive for many years. We even bring, bring the right connections to fulfill certain of your goals and uh, dreams as well. So, if you have a chance to be socially active in some way, you know, of course, without aggression, I would advise everyone, um, you can have a great impact and transform not only society, but transform your future and your uh, ability to participate on the market of exchange of goods and ideas down the line. All right. And then lastly, we have, the moon conjunct north node lunar eclipse in your fourth house, which means some of you, this can mean it's no, the end of November, which means that it's active for three months after that. So some of you, it can mean big change in regards to personal life. And by the way, after that, there'll be an eclipse in your 10th house. So in December, so it's on the axis of career and home. So the solar eclipse is active for six months, the lunar eclipse for three months. So it's activating here for some of you a big change in the family, maybe a completing a phase, completing building a property, moving, um, completing maybe children kind of, you know, uh, adding a new member to the family type of thing as well. Uh, or uh, something or completing seeing the results of some home project or some project you've been doing with your family as well. But again, because it's an eclipse, it can be a bit stressful. Some changes in the family indicated there in your personal life. And into, it can go into the career sphere in December in particular because of the next eclipse that is already active from November. So there is this axis that you're starting to feel, I would say from the middle of November, like a big shifts and decisions kind of faded with personal life and with the career and the direction of your career. Um, but this one eclipse tends to give you something with, with the Rahu, you know, maybe give you something new for the home, maybe give you a new family member, sometimes even pets I've seen with Rahu eclipse in the fourth house that people get. Or, um, Yes, so some kind of emo emotional focus on the family as well, but that kind of gives you something rather than takes something away from you. So there we go, Pisces. You know, your planet Jupiter for the last time with Pluto wants to empower you, wants you to take your power and to realize you have a voice to change society. It's happening in, your, in the 11th house. To empower you to believe that you can, uh, you're as important member of society as everyone else and that you can contribute to this society and that you can be, uh, you know, this 11 houses to participate in the economy, to be gainful, to be prosperous, to be rewarded. These are some of the big themes here for you. Plus 
finances problems start going away with mercury and mars turning direct in your second and eighth houses so there you go and next year it's a brand new animal <laughs> very very different than the themes of 2020 if you want to check out what's to happen see my 2020 video horoscopes the two hour video for you pisces and you can even get all 12 to give us presents to family to friends for new year's for christmas you know um, I speak about almost like almost every month what happens, every degree, every uh, day that the person is possibly born, you know, that is activated. Uh, I'm very excited about those horoscopes because 2021, uh, it's a very exciting year. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah. So thank you so much. I love you and I'll see you next month.